I caught these two guys out grill watching all morning, so I think it's about time they pump up their muscles here with a little back workout. And today we're going to be training heavy. Chris is starting off with the seated lat pull down machine here. He's got a good heavy weight going. We've already done our warm up set. Now we're going to let Sean jump in and try to show him up a little. <laughs> try? <laughs> oh, ooh, got you. Okay, notice Chris's form. He's using the wide grip, which works the upper area of the lat right in through here. It's important to train using the wide grip. It gives you that nice V taper that everybody's after. If I want to spot him, I'm right back here. Right at the hand, helping him pull it down. Good, two more. Good weight. Come on, Chris. <laughs> Exhale. And last one. Whew. Make it look so easy. Whew. All right, Sean. Good job. Now, Chris, in between, I want you to stretch out your back a little bit. Nice. And notice there are two hand positions. Sean chose the wider grip as well. The inner grip works more of the uh, lat from the tricep all the way down to his tiny weight. Okay. Perfect. And notice his form. He's got his elbows back. He's not swinging. It's a nice, nice slow, controlled movement. It's perfect. It really feels on. good to stretch between sets. It's important. It's important to stretch out in between sets to maintain your flexibility. Come on, Sean. Let's go. Five more. Five more. Nice. Want to spot him, Chris? Sure. Now, when you're training in the gym, it's important to keep things interesting. Change up your, your exercises, train with different partners, and even try joining two or more gyms. That way you keep stimu yourself stimulated with a new environment. Okay, my turn. How many reps did you do? Oh, 20, good, do two dozen. Two dozen? About two dozen. I lose count, after, dozen. I lose count after about 20. I'll put more weight on. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, I'll use the narrow grip. This works more of the uh, overall lat. Elbows back. How often do you turn your back, Sean? Oh, once a week. Maybe twice a week, Max. <laughs> Thank you. How about you, Chris? Probably twice a week. I like to go one day heavy and one day uh, lighter for Tony and shaping. It feels good for me. You just live in the gym, don't you? Pretty much. Nice. Excellent, Scott. Ten. Give it up. Nice. Let's go. I like to hold it for a beat at the bottom. Two. 13, two more. Come on, Kiana. 14. Good. Yeah. Good, Asha. Yeah. I'm looking tired. <laughs> nice. My next exercise happens to be right here. Let's go, buddy. All right, all right, all right. This is the seated row. This is called the mid-row machine. Now, it's fun to train with machines and with free weights. I like to use a combination of both and change up my routines with each workout. Chris is using the wide grip again. The wide grip for the seated row is working more of the upper delts and the upper back and also the inner area right in through here. Perfect. A nice, slow, controlled movement again. The object of this, of this exercise is to try to pinch your elbows together. Right, Sean? Yeah. Try to, you want to try to make your elbows touch each other. Right in through here. Squeeze. Excellent. Come on, Chris. This is too light for you. <laughs> I think you could do more next time. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Sean. Okay. Step aside. Let's go, big boy. Man. Now, did you guys color coordinate or what? I mean, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Accident. It looks good. It looks good. I called him before we came over. <laughs> yeah. I was going to come over here wearing the wrong outfit. Okay, so we've shown you the uh, seated lat pull down. We suggest three to four sets. And then the seated mid row, three to four sets. And then we even have a special treat using Watch the Body up. Flex Gym. We'll show you how to do back flies. All right, let's jump. If you want a spot, you can help them right here. 
great. You can really see it working. Sean has terrific back development. <sighs> this also works the rear delts. Uh, right into here. Gives you that nice separation into the back. Go on. Right. I think that will just about do it. <laughs> Make sure that the uh, machine is properly adjusted for your height. Move a little bit forward. Yeah, how's that for weight? That's good. Thank you. I'll use the close grip again. Gentlemen, gentlemen. 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 I like to get the full range of motion. I usually do about four or five sets in the back. How many sets do you do, Sean? Usually about three. <laughs> Nice, Kiana. Come on. Last one. One more. Three more. Oh, man. Uh, nice. Come on. One more. All right. Okay. Show them up again. You guys are so busy talking. Leave me out there. <laughs> you want to say yeah. Where's the uh, body flexion? Now, this is the back fly. It's very easy to do. It's a great finishing exercise for the back. All you do is hook it around the machine. Nice, comfortable stance. You just have too much hair. <laughs> Your hair's even strong. Cool. I know. I, I <laughs> thought I was going to lose a finger last time I pulled it back. <laughs> nice, Kiana. I like this exercise because it really works my rear down. Yeah. It's really great for my backhand in tennis. You didn't think about that, did you? Ah, I know why that tennis game so tough. Excellent, Kiana. Okay, Sean. You're up. Okay. okay. I notice the starting position as I get hit in the mouth is, uh... <laughs> the starting position is palms facing forward. It's called the back fly. Okay, that wraps up our back workout, and uh, I think I'll let these guys go back to the beach and scout out some more girls. Okay, let's have a go. We're Maybe gonna watch. finish the set first. <laughs> The lat pull-downs help you develop that nice V taper that looks so great. The wider the grip, the more of the upper area of the lats you work. The closer grip pull-downs tone more of the lower lats. The seated rows help to develop thickness in the back and the lower lats. The lat pull-downs combined with the seated rows and the back flies will give you a complete back workout. And remember, weight training not only feels good, but you'll look great too. Rosie's demonstrating the basic incline crunch. What she's doing here, I'm going to slow down just a little bit, is isolating the upper area of the abs. It's a little bit easier because her arms are forward, making it easier on her abs. Yeah, it's a very yeah. good beginning exercise. Two more. Exhaling on the way up. Perfect. Good job. And one more. <laughs> okay, Anita's going to demonstrate a little bit harder version here. Crossing the arms across the chest. Here back. Going all the way down and crunching up. Good job. Chin up. Okay, great job, Anita. Okay. Now what I'm going to show you is a little, a slight variation of the same exercise that Rosie and Anita did, making it a little bit harder. Instead of the arms forward or across the chest, we're going to put the arms at the hips. Same principle, keeping the chin up, crunching with the upper abs. A slight, little, tiny, tiny movement. That's all you need. Nine and ten. Okay. Next ab exercise. I'll demonstrate this one. It's the modified V-up. Let me show you two variations. This, the first one is for beginners. It's basically using an overhand grip. You can sit on the edge of a piano bench, or if you happen to have a uh, weightlifting bench at home, that's even better. Overhand grip, bringing your knee and your upper body together at the same time, crunching the midsection, crunching the tummy. You see, I do modeling, so these exercises, you can probably pretty much do them anywhere, because like when I travel a lot, it's hard to fit your workouts in. That's a good point. 
Exactly. You can do these at home. You can do these in a hotel room. You can do these uh, by a beach in Maui. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that works. And plus, they're nice and fast and easy. So. Yeah. It doesn't take a lot of time. That's yeah. right. That's right. I like to do 25 reps of the crunch, 25 reps of the V-up, and then make it even harder. You can do both legs at the same time. That's a good one. Good job. That's four. Three, two, good. one. Okay. Nice. Rosie. Ready for me? Now, Rosie's more of a beginner, and that's great. I mean, everyone should start at their own level and never, you know, do try to do more than you can. Start off slowly, keeping her chin up. Chin is an imaginary string pulling her chest straight up to the sky. Tiny little movement, Rosie. Actually, you want to go down all the way. Okay. To here. Yeah. Okay. Little movement. Let your back rest down. Relax. Right. Okay. Little movement. Right there. Little. There you oh, go. Okay. Perfect. Right that. there. And you Perfect. want to do just small movements and just slow. Huh? Yeah. Exactly. Smaller the movement, the better. This is working right up here, the upper area I of the abs. Still up. Couple more. Last one. Good job. Hey, Rose. Uh, Rosie. Anita. Yeah. <laughs> All right, not again. Now, what I like to do is I'll do 25 reps on the crunch board, 25 V ups, and 25 of each side to side obliques. That way, you get an entire ab workout. You've got the upper, the lower, and each side area. Okay, now Anita's showing you the oblique. She's got her arm out, extended arm out for balance. The beginning position for this exercise is with the shoulder blade up off the mat about a half an inch. Notice she's got proper form, keeping the elbow open and keeping the knee open here. It's exactly right. The most common mistake in this exercise is bringing the arm in and pulling with the arm as opposed to crunching with the abs. Good job, Anita. Other side. Now remember, even though you're training your abs and you're doing sit-ups, you're doing crunches, you're doing your cardio, you got to make sure you watch what you eat. Keep your diet really, really low in fat. Um, personally, I eat 25 to 30 grams of fat per day. Eat lots of steamed vegetables, chicken, fish. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. A couple more. Okay, we've shown you the crunch, the V up, and moving on to the obliques. Okay. Now we're going to show you a little bit more advanced exercise. Why don't we do leg throws? Okay. This is an excellent one. What you want to do here, grab onto a friend's ankles and just she wants to lightly throw my legs down, keeping the small of my back pressed into the pad. Chin up to support the back. Basically what I'm doing is controlling my legs on the way down, training the, the lower abs. Sure. This exercise looks like to burn a lot of calories. Plus, this is a great strengthening exercise for the abs. All right. And straight. There you go. This is a very advanced ab exercise. Try to kick me. Remember, before starting this or any exercise program, make sure you consult the physician. We don't want any uh, injured Tiana flexitures. <laughs> hey, really couple good more, job. one more, one more, right? Yep. There we go. Okay. Good job. Okay. All right, you at home, we've shown you four exercises. Can you count them? The crunch, the up, obliques, and leg throws. Give it a try, and you'll have flat abs like us, see? <laughs> <laughs> and you can have flat abs, too. Use a variety of different exercises to strengthen and tone the abs and combine it with cardiovascular activity. Cardiovascular activity is important to burn away the excess body fat. The incline crunches train primarily the upper area of the abs. The strictest way of doing this movement is with the hands behind the head. The farther back your hands go, the more difficult the movement is. The beginner knee ups are great for the lower part of the abs. Start off with one leg and gradually work your way up to two legs and you're doing the seated leg tucks for the upper and lower part of the abs. The traditional crunch is a terrific exercise for the abs. I like training my abs with a high number of repetitions, varying my hand positions, and also incorporating twisting sit-ups. And last but not least, the leg throws. In all these ab exercises, make sure the small of your back is pressed into the ground.
your butt, your fanny, your akuli, call them what you will, but the glutes are a traditional trouble spot. We'll put an end to that. Check it out. Squat is the best exercise for the lower body. I like using a dumbbell because it's easier to go heavier. All you do is let it hang directly in front of the body, feet shoulder width apart, back straight, chin up, and we're gonna squat down so the thighs are parallel, ready, and squat down, squeeze it up, one, down, hold it up for a beat, two, down, and three, working the thighs, the glutes, perfect. Down and up, the hamstrings. I was just sitting under this palm tree here thinking that I wanna show you how to shape and tone your arms. Actually, I'm gonna show you the shoulders, the bicep, and the triceps using free weights. So I'm gonna get Anita and Rosie and we're gonna start our workout right now. Okay, we're starting off our shoulder and arm workout with the Arnold press, palms facing forward and press it up for one and down and up make sure and squeeze it out inhale down exhale up this is like the military press but we're starting with the palms facing the body and then at the top of the movement we're twisting it up working more of the front head of the deltoid but i don't know i think the name of this exercise should be changed from the arnold press to the rosie kiana anita press personally <laughs> down and up. Notice we're keeping our elbows back. We're starting off with the shoulders so you can have shapely, sexy arms, nice and toned and firm. Inhale, exhale. Notice our back is straight, nice and slow. Inhale. Okay, now we're gonna move on from the shoulder to the bicep curl. Let's just drop our hands down by our side. Palms facing out, one at a time, right arm first and up, super knitting the wrist in and up. Keeping the elbows tight into the waist. Working the bicep. The reason why we super knit our wrist at the top, it works more of the peak of the bicep. Gives you more shape. Chin up, back straight. Exhale up. A few more. Do 15 repetitions of each exercise. We're showing you three today. As the sun's setting here in Maui, we had a gorgeous workout today. And two more, right arm up. Exhale, last one. Good job, Rosie. Good job, Anita. Now hold it down here. Now we're gonna put one of the dumbbells down, leave it uh, right arm up for an overhead tricep extension for the back of the arm. Let's drop it down behind our head, elbow tight next to the ear and extend it up for one. And down, elbow tight by the ear and two. And three, this is working the entire area of the back of the arm and four. Inhale, exhale, five, six, seven. Come on, let's go, you can feel it burning. We're getting a total shoulder and arm workout, eight. Nine, ten, pump it up, come on, five more. One, good job, Rosie, two, three, tightening and firming the back of the arm, four, and last one. Now move on to the left arm. Notice here our elbow is right in line with our ear. Let's drop it back, but down for one, and up. Inhale on the way down, exhale up, two, three, Four. Okay, we're gonna finish up our tricep extensions and then start on over again with the Rosie Kiana Anita shoulder press. <laughs> Let's go. Whew. Kiana's flex appeal was filmed at the beautiful Ritz-Carlton Kapalua on Maui's lush northwest shore.